Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're doing fine and you're still keeping safe. So this is like that part that I said I'm gonna shoot, but I've been doing this for the longest. So I really hope today we finish this series of why women put each other down. Yeah. Let me just. It's always a hospital, but yeah. So, guys, I'm also a Herbalife distributor, you know, <laughs> just for control. <laughs> yeah, but just applying my hand lotion there so that we can get started. Mm. Oh, guys. Okay, uh, home situations. <laughs> Okay, so um, if you are just viewing this video like for the first time, this is a continuation of other videos that I've already uploaded where I was talking about um, why women put each other down. I actually did a survey and a lot of women came through. If you haven't seen the past videos, please just go on my page or my, um, my channel. You will see the videos. They are in parts, part one, part two. This is part three. So if you've been following and you're waiting to hear your response, this is like, I think we are going to have enough time to actually have everybody's responses heard because you guys are amazing and you have very, very powerful and positive things to say. So I'll just go right ahead so that we don't waste a lot of time. This queen say, actually, she actually cited an event that happened recently. She said, Oh, thank you uh, for actually bringing this topic up because just the other day I think a woman who is also a DJ in another country I don't want to give specific details because it might give up who it is I'm protecting everybody's identity here apparently she is a full-figured woman which I understand I think people with big bodies so apparently people started saying horrible things to her on uh, when she uploaded a picture of herself which I think also um, uh, made her feel bad so apparently this woman uh, she actually took the time and addressed the, the people that came to her I mean she stood up for herself and put everyone in her place and she said that was really needed because often people just say things to people and then that person who received negative things they carry those things with them wherever they go and then they just all alone in a wave or a dark cloud of those things so she said reasons that she think people do this or women rather she said insecurities on all level low self-esteem self-projection you want to make yourself feel better and social media she highlighted that there is a lot of cyber bullying on social media people are misusing social media to say horrible things to other people and I think I've noted this, some people you know, some actually go to an extent of creating fake accounts just to say something to someone. Huh, come on guys. And then she continued and said, low self-esteem, low self-confidence, uh, it's very sad and psychological. Sometimes parents also say, I, would, I wouldn't just say parents, maybe even elders, I would put it that way, say mean things to their kids. But we need to embrace different diversities and we teach our kids to do right so that these things that we want to see in society are already embedded in them when they are growing up. Her advice, she said, it's not worth it. There is no reward in putting another woman down. What legacy are you leaving behind? There's no such happening in the world. Be the change instead of being the reason why someone wants to commit suicide. See beauty in others. See hope. The, the movement is here and it will get there. All good things take time. Let's learn how to shield each other. Stand up and defend each other. Not just screenshot and circulate things. I think that the last line is important. You even find someone screenshotting very sensitive information that was shared in, in, in confidence. And sometimes it's not even just going to one person. Or if it goes to one person, the 
perhaps by means that maybe I trust that person, then we put it, that person that we trusted just um, betrays that trust and before you know it, the whole thing is all over social media. Everywhere. I think if you are on a group or especially WhatsApp group, you have seen a rumor or more that has circulated more than anything constructive you have ever posted. And that's the problem there. Another woman came through and said, women have a disease called jealousy. Hi. Jealousy has been... <laughs> This one, she called it a disease. I'm, it's not funny, but yeah, I've never heard jealousy classified as a disease, okay? But it's very serious. She said, women have a disease called jealousy. We hate each other just because they have what we don't have. We gossip and identify others' names just to make us happy. Well known, not knowing that we are causing their pains. Women do all this to make sure they disturb other women's peace of mind and feed them with anger. Taking out of experience, talking out of experience, there are women who just gonna hate you for being you, for doing you, and for minding your business. Women hate others for being better than them in any kind of success. I always thought that we're supposed to be sisters, not enemies, but a lot of our friends are snakes. Hi. I will not comment. She said... Uh, when I asked what she would say, she said, not sure if this is possible, but we need a sisterhood family that we can rest our point of view and help each other out. We have women going through things they don't talk about because they have no one to talk to. We need to look at things on our perspective view, like what if that you are doing to her is happening to you. I personally don't talk much anymore because the world is very scary people who you think care are the ones destroying your life we need to walk a mile in other shoes before we start to talk about their lives we are the cause of suicide and we don't know it that's what i think her views another queen came in and she kept it very short and brief and she said jealous nature of women and she said, women keep depriving women to go upwards and onwards. We need to empower each other. Instead, there is greater things ahead of us. Another queen, she said, I think they are insecure about themselves. I think they are afraid of competition. I think because of what the other women has, they don't. I think because they want to feel more powerful than the other woman. And sometimes I think it, it's, it's seen as that person, Harumwele over Nuna Wavati. Okay. okay. <coughs> she said this. She put it in my mother tongue. I'm not going to translate. You can ask for the translation in the comments because I won't finish. She said, Okokucheike kashina eshita shimkwafaka. Tearing each other down will not help us reach the women empowerment movement. Tearing each other down will not help us build each other. Tearing each other down will not help us grow each other. Tearing each other down will give men pleasure to do whatever they wanted to do because they know that we don't like each other. Be a kind of woman that you want your daughter to be or turn out to be. Be an exemplary woman, be an inspiration to young girls, and stop being a bitch. It will only make people fear you. <coughs> it's not easy. Yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy. Guys, you can see, it's not me. <laughs> Someone responded and said, especially women in their 20s, hella guys, when you... Uh, uh, they feel like when you have been with more men, it's success. I think she said, she, um, not, not I think, she said she has come across virgins being made to feel like men don't want them. Translated like you are a lower standard. So it's like, I think if you sleep with more men, then you, 
you are beautiful and you are liked or something and then you are trying to make whoever hasn't has a man i think um to feel like they are not beautiful and they are not wanted yo guys i'm also in my 20s but when did sexual encounters become a basis for approval hmm okay that's a new one i've actually never heard of it but she said we are not enemies it's men against women realize the world was built for men men don't give a fuck sorry for the word it came as such if you don't like what you see in the mirror the other woman is probably feeling the same that woman can use a little love from you let's stop looking for men's approval it's desperate you were like put here to please men most things were created by men imagine you have to wear a suit when you become a lawyer you feel like a bigger you feel like a bigger butt is better than another person not being able to confidently breast it in public men have something to do with that when pregnant some laws in some countries let you be at home at for two or th for two years but in some countries just three months think this is maternity leave if you have had to go and those rules were made by men some women wear makeup just because of men running <clears throat> yo she's giving you run in closed shoes or you go to the toilet with your friends in a club because you are not safe from who from men that's her narrative guys magazines need you to be skinny to be called beautiful i think that standard was also put by men who prefer small people i think i like my women fat somebody that says that if a man says that to you uh-huh <clears throat> with meat or skinny you see i think all the beauty standards is what pleases a man you feel the need to do something about your weight because of that man no woman is against you everything against you was made up by men once you realize that then you realize there's no reason to go after another woman i did not say those things guys those are people's views and people are allowed to have their own views maybe their even own understanding of life and situations that were her views and i highly value them she opened up a picture that i've never even imagined i don't know about you you can always drop it in the comment section another woman said i think women put each other down because they've been around other women who have been doing it and at some point for them it's a normal thing to do some people generally just don't have a feminine touch to their souls women are supposed to be kind calm and collected a caring creative that gives out genuine energy but because of their surroundings and amount of new knowledge women feed each other things that have changed for the worst things have changed for the worst it's a few that still stick to keep to being the bigger person and doing simple things like apologizing in these times it's get it's back chatting social media indirect attacks and the list goes on but also i personally think all have come across a situation where a woman spoke bad about someone they've never met simply because a relationship has come to an end in a sense of a new lady coming in the picture oh women and relationships guys hey a situation well where they will say everything negative like she's not even that pretty or her body isn't even like yours okay but i think ladies put others down because they think they've either accomplished more than the second person two the advice it's very simple just be kind understand that we are all not the same but always be a kind person help where you can rekindle bonds that have been broken have space to hear other people out be teachable no one is here competing with anyone and lastly always make time for yourself the world will continue being unbalanced if we'll 
if all we do is spread around negative energy. Men won't do many things we do, and for that I believe women shouldn't change to feel what society has problems with. Yo, people are talking <sighs> their own views, guys. Keep listening, grab a snack. This wonderful woman said in my opinion i think most ladies are trying to compete with each other they are competing with the best in everything best lifestyle in the process some become resentful unhappy and bitter thus you find ladies gossiping and trying to put others down most ladies are unhappy with the achievements made by other ladies and they try to come up with ways in how to tarnish their success and I think most ladies don't want to embrace differences. Mostly when ladies have different views or different beliefs, they start attacking each other. They start judging them and saying all the negative comments. Some do it from the jealous point of view. They just can't stand to see others prosper. Hair advice. Women need to support each other. If we want to eliminate social challenges that are facing women, start with rape women abuse and all stereotypes in our society about women and how we are being heavily judged over by men i believe women are the only people that can make that dream happen only if we unite and start loving one another yeah there is so many responses guys and everyone has uniquely phrased it they are all coming to a common goal and I think there are also solutions or at least positive messages being spread. So I think let's just listen and see how we proceed from there as sisters. Another lady says, women tear each other down because some women generally have the tendency to see other women as attention seeker, know it all better than others, sexual rivals, or they simply just get a feeling of intense dislike for other women for no apparent reason and this usually all boils down to jealousy what would she say to a fellow woman it will depend on the scenario because there are various scenarios for example belittling gossiping saying bad things lying about another person uh, shooting down ideas or sabotaging another business Others include criticizing another woman over her physical appearance, makeup, or dress code, insulting each other's intelligence, or shunning one another because of one posted selfie. Yo! A professional achievement or a picture of a happy family. What I'll say to that woman is, do you know what we women, that we women are our worst own enemies? Do you know that men hardly ever gossip, say bad things about others, etc. But we women always do that to other women, then talk about the current scenario. I will then conclude by asking, do you know how nice the world will be if women supported each other? Just imagine if women see other women just as capable as their male counterparts, professionally at work places, or if women say no to married men or men in relationship, how many families could be saved? <laughs> Guys, <sighs> this is serious. I will go ahead and read another response. It says, I really believe it's envy jealous or insecurity i believe women that do this mostly have low self-esteem and hence they do this to make themselves feel better to get attention feel somehow in control i also think some really just hate their lives and want others to start feeling like them she says like they always say everything starts at home I think before getting to a point of having to actually say something, you must be it first and start. And that might actually be enough to show the other woman that it's okay to fix another woman's crown without feeling intimidated or making them feel better about themselves. Whoa. 
okay i think we will i think we will finish today this one also goes i see women putting others down just the same as bullies it's never about the person being bullied but about how low confidence or self-esteem the and personal issues of the bullies when they say themselves whether they themselves have been bullied or traumatized in one way or another remember abuse comes in many forms emotional social economical financial etc they have low self-worth and self-esteem so i feel if women can take time to truly love themselves and find their self-worth or value they will not need to any external validation because they will know they are valued and loved for those putting others down look deep down inside you and know that what you try to use to hurt someone else is something you lack from within you are worthy you are strong you are an amazing powerful being that can build others up take pride in knowing that you can give anything time money kindness to others without wanting anything in return that is the center of what love truly is hmm. okay and then another queen comes and say i'm not really sure why women put each other down but it all comes to jealousy whatever the reason is the bigger reason is always jealousy women tend to shame others because they don't have what the other one has they are not smart as the other women they think they are not as important as the other women or they think their standard of living is better than that of the other women not knowing that they are all special in their own ways they contribute to life differently and we are all important somehow her advice she said stop focusing judging shaming and negatively thinking of each other rather focus on helping each other focus on your health focus on building a healthy environment around you focus on building your career because you are special beautiful and important in your own way stop trying to live on other people's standards or lifestyles those standards are good to them those standards are good um, to them there's a reason why god created you find out what that reason is and understand that you are a blessed lovely beautiful queen here are a lot of affirmations i know first it starts off with someone trying to identify a problem because i think for a problem to be solved we need to identify where it's coming from but after these women or these queens have identified these problems they always bring the counter solution and that's where i want your focus to go on because i'm i'm truly learning and lucky for me i have all these in writing already <laughs> okay so another queen says she thinks it's low self-esteem they lack self-esteem that's they are trying to boost it up by making another woman feel the same about themselves so by putting others down maybe they feel more confident about themselves insecurity they feel threatened by another woman especially when it's their age made and it seems to be doing well in their lives well i guess this comes along with jealousy some are just natural bullies they enjoy bullying others which can be caused by their background upbringing or environment where they grew up maybe they were abused or something and her advice well women should know that everyone is just trying their best to make sure they have a good life when they see another woman doing well or progressing they should know that it's not about them it has nothing to do with them that's putting that woman down will add no value to your life guys yo i've heard jealousy i've heard envy i have heard low self-esteem it, it, and it's not from one person so this has got to be the real root causes hey eh? 
that's just amongst many but here is another reason a queen said women do this for these reasons out of jealousy because they envy the other women they are trying to put down to compete with the other women for example if they're in the same type of business to make themselves look better than the victim to prove a point somehow somewhere while some women are suffering from depression some women suffer from la locosia i hope i'm reading that well apparently it's defined as any emotional relief gained from using abusive or unacceptable language yo <laughs> advice as women we should do away with this bad practice as almost everyone out there is fighting a battle we know nothing about for whatever reasons we should first imagine how we would feel if that if what we say or do to others was said or done to us depression is real and each one of us can be better can do better by preventing it the most beautiful women are found not staring in movies or covers of fancy magazines or elsewhere they are found lifting each other up the most beautiful women are you and me as a team wow beautiful said <sighs> okay there is another response we are almost done and i'm excited this one said uh, very simple jealous and competition so many women are in competition with other women that do not even consider nor see them as competition for example she gave a, a personal example if you know her please don't go attack her this is what we are trying to avoid she said for example my best friend since high school wanted everything i had everything from phone clothes marks you name it Till one day she stole my then boyfriend's number from my diary. Yo, guys. Started chatting to him and they met up behind my back. She did so much and stupid me was always forgiving her until last year when she found out I was pregnant and I didn't tell her. She was very pissed, very angry and I got concerned because what the hell? We are friends. Why wouldn't you respect my privacy? Why get so angry? I've diverted here from the question to my story, but yeah, this real life shit, not movies. We are not in movies, guys. So that was someone's personal experience. Like I said, it, it really appeared. Like I said, I expected like uh, follow up questions like, what are you talking about? But women started talking openly about this issue. It, it told me just there and then that this was a serious issue. And there you heard a fellow sister saying this. So she said, her advice. I think first and foremost, women need to heal from a lot of personal things because hurt people hurt people. We must feel ourselves only then we can be able to pour out of ourselves. We are already fighting a lot of things individually. So why not stick together? Why not love and support each other? Bitterness comes from a very dark place and bitter people destroy the peace before anyone else. Take that burden off your shoulders as it will weigh you down and mess with your mental health. That's about it, babe. I would write a book if I had the time. Yo! Yeah. okay another queen i'm just checking how many more responses we have we are really about to close this chapter i'm excited but maybe it opens up more questions so let me just go ahead this queen said people tearing each other down has more to do with the type of person one is if the person grows up being loved at home and being belittled she said being not being loved and being belittled and not praised they tend to do the same to others as they grow up the sad part is some people never unlearn that trait learning and unlearning guys we may have grown up with some things but doesn't mean we have to stick with them we are big and we can always make better choices she said those were my words <laughs> She said, 
it's not everyone you are able to get to you might end up being lit by crossfires that weren't even meant for you i've come to terms with the fact that some people are okay with who they are even when they are people that constantly tear others down good thing is i have learned to stay away from such people <sighs> wow that was actually the last response i was so absorbed i didn't realize we've come to the end of our series but i've picked up a lot of things i don't want to repeat them i don't want to paraphrase them but i just i i thought i was just you know looking for um in fact someone actually had to asked me i have a list of topics that i intended when i you know when i created that uh, the, the channel i have intentions of creating educational content to reach people who wish to learn i'm also learning this is why this exercise also helped me to learn a few things and not a few actually a lot of things so i submitted the a list of topics and I asked some some of my followers to just pick one topic and they picked this specific one so I was like let me do my best on this because someone really wanted to see this content and I was quite puzzled up to now I'm like the amount of women and I haven't finished I didn't even send to everyone in my phone it was about 60 people that's why you can see we did this in three parts and I want to, to really thank you guys once more, those that send their responses. If you are still sitting through up until this point, you know, th this is just amazing. And I, and I actually now want to maybe continue talking to fellow women. We, we have so much to talk about, I think, because I didn't even know people had so much to say. So it, it feels like there's a lot unsaid in rooms and then those things just build up and they maybe turn us into different people, they cause us to do certain things, you know, some not so good maybe, some good. So overall, this was a great experience for me. First time doing a survey for my channel, and I think I'll be doing more. Um, thank you so much, guys, for sitting through. Uh, this was uh, take, the, take the lessons, take the advice. They come from different professionals, different age mates, you know. Uh, yeah uh let's uh let's just build a sisterhood i think this is the goal ultimately because like all the people said we are not enemies thank you